Oh, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Dante's Rant Room. I'm your host, Dante, where we talk about nerd culture, geek culture, hypocrisy within pop culture, all right here. And sadly, once again, G4 TV is the topic of discussion, and not in a good way, because apparently, G4 TV Senior Vice President Blair Herter tells gamers, don't watch us. Right, because what you want to do as a business is tell people not to view your channel because that is very smart business tactics. You, you're you already bleeding subscribers. You're losing thousands upon thousands of subscribers, and now you go on and say, hey, is it not for you? You don't watch us. You, you should be wanting people to watch you. That's the problem. <laughs> Before I go any further into the article, do me a favor. Hit the red subscribe button. I'd really appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you guys hitting the red subscribe button. You guys are awesome. And now, let's get into it. All right, let's get into the article from Bounding Into Comics. This started not long ago, I believe, when Frosky was on the air and she was talking gaming uh, info. And I believe she got certain things wrong. It's a little bit of misinformation. And I'm sure the people watching were commenting saying, hey, you got this wrong. And I'm sure some people were being douchebags about it. But it didn't take away from the fact that what she was saying may have been wrong. And they may have been correcting her and so on and so forth. And I'm going to assume that she just read all the negative comments. And as you guys can clearly see, and Frost doesn't have tough skin. <laughs> you guys can see. And didn't take the criticism too well and took it as an attack on women on the show as she came on the air the next day or so and attacked mostly the men, all the male viewers who are most likely primary viewers of their network, which was a very bad move. And Adam Sessler jumped on the bandwagon and people went to his um, Twitter page and so he's a Republican hating asshat. And you guys know, we're not allowed to criticize people like that because they always, you just can't. Criticizing them is seen to be as unacceptable. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm not gonna waste any more of you guys' time. I'm gonna go right into what he said exactly. Ew, the pictures. Let me sure you right about some things. Anyway, he says, um, grateful to spend my life with the women who smash glass ceilings. Honored to work with the women of G4TV's past and humans like at Frosky today. Proud to work at a place that makes stuff like this. If you don't hear, you know, all caps. If you don't hear the below, unfollow me and don't watch us. We're not for you. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. And the, the uh, article goes on to say comments like this. From Herder, shouldn't be unexpected given Herder um, described President Donald Trump rallies as Yahtzee rallies back in November of 2019. He wrote, and I'll read that in a second, <laughs> okay? But I, guys, hear me out. I, I think I figured it out with these uh, uh, gaming activists that have been given power. Um, I, I, I think these guys believe that the channel like G4 TV is like their personal like podcast or personal YouTube channel. It's like, for example, this is my YouTube channel, right? I can say what I want, I can do what I want, and that's how it goes, right? G4 TV doesn't belong to these people. It belongs to the network that's supposed to be used to entertain the people. Talk about gaming, anime, manga, tech, and whatever, right? These people use G4 TV as their personal outlet, to rant about their feelings, to, to, to preach about activism and feminism, and oh, how hurt your feelings are. That's what they use it for, and that's a problem. Because if you want to go about and complain and moan about feelings and feminism and gaming and women and feminism, and well, I don't care, whatever the title it is, right? They can um, do that on their personal YouTube. They can do it on their, uh, their Twitter page for all I care. This is why I don't really go at... Um, I, 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 I was, I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> but you get my point? And that's the problem. They're treating it like it's their own personal thing when it's not. I don't watch it to hear about a lot of your personal 
feeling about how you were triggered by someone that was trying to correct you or how you took it as an attack on women and it's feminist and how you're not as bangable as Olivia Munn or Morgan Webb, which is true, but that's, I don't care. I really don't care. You know what I mean? And it's only a matter of time before they bring race into it. That's going to be the next weapon. To, uh, yo, guys, mark my words. If they don't, I'll be really surprised. But I guarantee you, eventually, they're going to bring race into it. Let's see what this guy said about Trump, by the way. Uh, it says, uh, the World Series, uh, hashtag UFC 244, public appearance outside of your um, carefully curated Yachty rallies are bigly hard. <laughs> what? Wow. You know, to, to just throw that word around, Yachty, like nothing, it's a little, you know, extreme, don't you think, Mr. Herter? And to wrap this up, it is clear, like I said before, that G4 is bleeding subscribers. They are losing subscribers by the hundreds of thousands, if I'm not mistaken. I got the proof right here. I'm sure you've seen it on a dozen of other YouTube channels that I'm going to talk about it here as well. Look okay. at 2,000, I can't click on it, sadly, but it's 2,000 here, 1,000 here, 1,000 here, 1,000 here. Another 1,000 and like a few weeks later, or a few days later, and 1,000, this is what, as of uh, the 3rd of February, they're losing subscribers, man. And um, if this is not a wake-up call to these losers, I don't know what is. But on that note, I'm going to say this. I don't. Want, I really don't want to keep on covering this because it's... <laughs> I just talked about this because this guy specifically spoke about G4 in his tweet. Uh, Adam Sessler, he's been going at Republicans. He hates them clearly, but that's his personal Twitter. Um, as long as he's not using G4 to push his uh, toxic hate for Republicans, I don't care. It's, I, it is what it is. I don't think he's right in what he's saying. I really don't. Don't don't get me wrong here, but that's his Twitter. But he's not using it to. Not, he's not using G4 to push his agenda. So it is what it is. Uh, unlike Frosky and then unlike um, Herder right here. So on that note, I will say this about G4. Fuck you. Hope your channel crashes and burns. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are not like how you used to be. And you use the power of nostalgia to resurrect your useless company. And I regret even trying to, like, hoping that you guys will come back. I regret that I was actually excited that you guys are back because you guys are proven to be incompetent and useless what do you guys think about this let me know in the comment section like comment subscribe share hit the notification bell for more content nerd geek culture hypocrisy within pop culture and also by the way i'm pretty sure if i won't say i say i'll, I'll say that for next time all right so do me a favor guys subscribe to the channel let's help grow this channel trying to grow to 500 plus subscribers and I cannot do it without you guys' help. So please spread the word by sharing this content. If you guys like my content, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. For the good old algorithm, please drop a comment. I would really appreciate that. Oh, follow me on Twitter, Dante's Rant Room. Peace.